Hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. And this week the message is, sometimes you have to take a step back, a small step back, maybe even several small steps back, to make a big step forward. Have you ever noticed that in your cleaning company? We certainly did with our cleaning company. There were times when we wanted to reorganize how we did hiring and training because we were having troubles with turnover. And we had to kind of tear everything apart and find out who are we hiring, how are we screening them, how are we interviewing them, how are we training them, how are we motivating them, and how many hours are we giving them, what days do they like, are, are we giving them enough supervision, you had to look at everything, right? And that's painful. You know, you don't like to have to sit down and take the time to do that. For example, what if you interviewed five or ten of your employees and said to them, or applicants that have come through, or people maybe interview anyone who ever leaves to take the time to interview them. What's that called? An exit interview, right? To take the time to find out why did they come to you and now why are they leaving? All of that takes time and we don't like to do it, especially when we're so busy with everything else. So there's an example of having to slow down and take the time to figure things out to make it better. What's another thing we're always harping on? Trying to make some change in our company. So, for example, I'll, also, I'll often mention, for example, tracking hours. So we make sure that we give our client all the hours of cleaning they're supposed to get each week. Well, remember how we talked about that takes time. You know, we'd have to sit down. How are we going to track this? How are we going to react to it and adjust to it to make sure they get their hours? All of those things take time. Say you're going to change procedures for anything from your supplies to special service work anything that you do. You have to tear it apart, maintenance of your equipment, anything really, right? You have to tear it apart, think about it, and then put it back together. And that slows you down. You feel like you take a step back. But try to consider doing those things more often because those are the things that really move you forward. If you wonder why from one year to the next things don't change much in terms of important ways, Often it's because we're not doing the homework, the slow work, in order to take the big step forward. Think about examples in your company where that might help you to be willing to invest the time and the money to do it because you know six months later, 12 months later, you're going to enjoy the benefits year after year after year after that. Hope that helps. Hope it helps your cleaning company. Until next time, remember that you can do this. You really can.